What's up, everybody? Doc Dark1985. There's levels to this. All right, so I, I got to be honest with you. I'm starting to get tired of making videos about next generation console. I, I, I really am. But every once in a while, I see something that I'm just like, I just can't ignore, right? So let's jump right into it. <laughs> IGN has a video. I, I don't even know how I missed it. Apparently, it's two weeks old now. Where they say that as gamers, you and I, you and I should lower our expectations of next generation graphics. What? What? Now, hear me out. The truth of the matter is this. Until the next generation consoles come out, we don't know what games are going to look like on them because we don't know how the developers are going to use the power. We don't know if 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 it's going to run the way they, they, they say it's going to run. What we do know already as of today is that there's been a lot of false promises already. OK, now here's the thing. If you decide to make a new system, right, a new hardware, right, and your goal is not to make it better than what it was your previous generation, then what is the point of making this hardware? What is the point of the consumer buying this hardware? Now. If you're not going to give me better graphics, you better give me better performance. And as of right now, I don't know about you, but I don't feel comfortable that we're going to get better performance with next generation console. I, I don't correct me if I'm wrong, but that tech demo that they showed the PS5 running at wasn't running at 60. It wasn't running at 60. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Assassin's Creed Valhalla. They said it's going to be running at at least 30. What do you mean at least 30? It better be at least 30. No, it better be at least 60. That's what I'm saying. It's a next generation console. So here's the deal. And I'm, and I'm speaking nothing but facts and truth here. The PS4 and the Xbox One S, so Xbox One X with X, all three Xboxes, okay? Games this generation visually look impressive. You can't tell me they don't. You are lying if you're going to tell me that games don't look visually impressive. Now, they run horrible on console, especially if you're comparing it to how they run on PC. They run horrible. But as far as how they, how they look, come on now. Games already look good. They already look good. So if you're going to tell me that I need to lower my expectations on graphics, that's fine. I can do that. I can do that. But you're not going to ignore the fact that the performance is not up to par either. So hold up. So now you want me to lower my expectations on the graphics. And then you're going to hit me with the same type of performance as last generation. So what are we doing? What are, what are we getting then? You tell me, what are we getting? Oh, I know. SSD. Faster load times. Bigger worlds. So same graphics, same performance. Faster load times and bigger worlds. That's all I'm getting. That's all I'm getting. No, 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 no. You're either gonna get you're either gonna give me better graphics or you're gonna give me better performance. So if you're gonna tell me to lower my expectations on the graphics and you've already shown me that performance is not gonna be great, what do I have to look forward to? Dog, let me let me tell you, this is the type of stuff that I understand why there's PC gamers out there that will never look at a console again. There's PC gamers out there that are disgusted by consoles and will never look at a console again because they see this BS that they try to pull on us. Look, dog, look, you would think that IGN is a, a, you know, pro pro consumer, pro gamers or whatever, right? So for them to say that lower our expectations, I'm not lowering anything negative. 
Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I don't care if I don't have a 4K TV. That better run at 4K. If you're not going to give me 60 frames at 1080p, if you're not going to give me 60 frames at 1080p, there better be the best visual graphics ever. What are you talking about? Lower my expectations. No, nah, no, nah, it upsets me. It really does. It, it, it upsets me. Because, again, I keep saying it over and over again. I feel like gamers, we get disrespected so much. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not lowering my expectations, though. I'm not. So if the PS5 and the Xbox Series X don't impress me in one way or one way or another, they either better have amazing performance. Every single game running at a minimum of 60 frames. If I'm playing at 1080p at a minimum of 60 frames every single game or or graphics that are out of this world then maybe maybe i'll let the 30 frames slide maybe i'll let the 30 frames slide but to tell me to lower my expectations on what graphics are going to look like sorry not doing it that water better look like water I reflections better look amazing. Shadows better look great. I mean, model models better look amazing. Your ragdoll physics better be right. Like, I don't tell me to lower my expectations and then not give me anything in return. Because then what's the difference between this next generation and the generation we have now? Games today look good. Spider-Man on the PS4 looks amazing. God of War on the PS4 looks amazing. Come on now, don't tell me it doesn't. Don't tell me it doesn't. Have you played a race a racing game on the Xbox? They look amazing. Performance is where these systems are 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 hitting below the belt. So, if we were to just grab these systems and up their performance, a lot of people would be happy with just that. But to tell me or to show me because this is what you shown me already, right? An engine that's not even going to be out till 2021 is not running this thing at 60 frames. Right, and a, and a, and a, the, one of the biggest game releases that's supposed to be coming out is going to run at a minimum of thirty at four K. No, give me ten eighty p sixty all day every day. Give me that, and then we can then then if you do that, then I will lower my expectations for graphical power or, or graphical fidelity. But until then, no, you're either giving me graphics or you're either giving me performance. Doc Dog 1985, yo, the disrespect, there's levels to this. We out. Peace.